Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading for the month of January 2019. Uh, this month, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. Also, I'm doing a Christmas giveaway. So uh, if you are watching this before Christmas, then definitely uh, check out the link in the description below for more information. But uh, let's see what we have going on for you this month. And I will be back as well to do, I'm going to be doing uh, financial readings and love readings for the first half of the month soon so that will also provide more detail but let's see what we have going on for you now you start off with the two of spades so separating way oh look at that two, three of spades as well definitely some of you going through a separation or you could be thinking about a separation from the past this could be a divorce a breakup pretty much anything and you know again these two cards coming up in the first position would just tell me that some of you could just be thinking about that. For the rest of you, this could be involving health and needing to watch your health or needing to take care of yourself. You actually have other really good health related cards here, but there could be, some of you could be going through a surgery I see here, or um, you could be cutting things out of your diet or something like that to improve your health. I do feel like that would be a really good idea for you. You end with the Jack of Diamonds. It's just a card of like removing things uh, to be healthy. So it can represent surgery. Or it could just represent like a change in your diet or a change in some sort of bad habit that you have that could be affecting your health. So I would definitely say watch your health this month. Uh, however, you do have the eight of hearts here, very good card for health, and the five of hearts, another good card for health. So I feel like there could be a change in your health anyway. And, um, you know, again, I feel like that will lead to a lot of improvements and things getting better. I also feel like this is you listening to your body. So... Again, I would just say listen to your body, whatever your body needs, whatever your body's telling you it needs. I feel like that will lead to a lot more success with your health as well. I also feel like this card could be talking about jealousy. Some of you in love could be dealing with like a jealous situation. In hearts just says talk about it. So again, if your partner is jealous or if you're jealous of some sort of situation, this card just says open up and that will improve the situation. Others of you could be looking for love with these two cards. And this would represent new love. Five hearts, birth of a new relationship. In hearts is just the card of socializing the card of dating, the card of getting out there. This is also the card of needing to live your fantasies. It's a card called the moon, um, but it's not like the moon in the tarot. You know, the moon in the tarot says your fantasies are, are just that. They're fantasies. They will never become a reality. But the moon in the playing cards says that you need to bring your fantasies down to earth. You need to create your own reality at this time. You need to put the work in to manifest what you want. So I feel like you could be very powerful manifestors this month, kind of bringing about some sort of fantasy. This could also be a romantic fantasy that you have. The other thing is that I will say about the Eight of Hearts is it can be a card of being like closed off in your sex life, basically. So, it, you know, again, if you're having problems in a relationship, it could be that you need to open up in your sex life to kind of like improve that relationship as well. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Hearts. A lot of people are getting this interesting and yeah seven of diamonds so messages i feel like there could be messages coming in for you these could be very intuitive messages as well i do feel you're like the third person that i felt this for um i feel like there could be like a very intuitive connection with somebody it's like maybe you're talking to somebody maybe you're not going out or anything like that but um you know maybe there's a very intuitive connection but I also feel like there's like some resistance to telling each other. I feel like you're thinking the both, you're both thinking the same thing. I would say if you're talking to somebody new, but it's not really going anywhere, I feel like you're both thinking the same thing. It's like you both like each other, but nobody's saying it. So I feel like there needs to be kind of a coming together here. I feel like things, there needs to be like this bridge. There's like a gap. I feel like that gap needs to be closed uh, with these two cards. For others, I feel like this could be talking about birth, by the way. So um, if you're not trying to get pregnant, I would say be very careful about that. And I would also say that this could represent messages from your mother as well. Uh, the, the Queen of Hearts could say that even if your mother has passed, maybe she's like coming to your dreams or in your daydreams, or maybe it is your mother calling you on the phone, telling you something. But I feel like there could be a family member. If it's not your mother, it could be like a family member who gives you advice. And I also say that this card could represent motherly advice, just, you know, advice that is something your mother would say. So I would say pay attention to that advice if you are receiving it. Uh, next, you have the Six of Diamonds. This is coming up in your challenge position in the Two of Hearts. Being closed off in love. Exactly what I said with the Eight of Hearts. Needing to open up in love and in your relationships and uh, needing to, um, you know, kind of stay open as well in the bedroom. I would say that, yeah, yeah you know, uh, Black Moon Lilith in your own sign, let's just put it that way, is not very great for love relationships it's like maybe you have a fantasy to you know dress like a, a sailor and, and chase each other around your house i don't know i don't know what people are into but or maybe you want to dress up dress up like a bunny rabbit and that's your fantasy eight heart says hey you know what this other person is probably just as weird as you so why not just say it why not just like get it out there if that's if that's what you're into you know so i'd say open up don't say close in relationships tell the other person 
what you actually want and that you'll probably get it is what these cards are saying this card says you're being too shy uh, same thing if you're not in a relationship like i said i feel like if you're not in a relationship and you're talking to somebody i feel like they like you too but both sides are being too shy that's literally what both of these cards say even in the challenge position this is a card of luck this is a card that says there is a lot of luck around you right now so it's like use that luck you know open up and stay open for others of you this could also just represent distance towards a passion so again if you're not interested in love um you know this says that you you might have some some sort of passion a project you want or a, just a passion that you want to work on like a hobby and this could say that there's distance there between you know maybe you're lacking finances or money to or you think you're lacking finances to like start a business based off of a passion this card says there are ways to do it but you just need to like find those ways Next, you have the Nine of Diamonds, card of death, and the Ten of Spades, card of death. So I feel like there could be a transformation going on for you now here. The Nine of Diamonds says, and this card's called the Coffin. It says you need to open the Coffin door. You need to step into this new life. And the Ten of Spades says you could be afraid to do it. Ten of Spades is like, um, you know, being afraid to see what's on the other side of the door, basically. And, you know, having sleepless nights, fears, fears of being taken advantage of. This could also be something like a new relationship coming in for you. But again, you're afraid to open that door. Like we've been talking about this whole time, needing to open up with the other person. And it could say there are fears there. But these fears do not exist. The Nine of Diamonds says you need to open up, basically. Now, this could also say that there are profits in a new job. Again, this is actually can be a good card, the Ten of Spades. It can say that you are leaving one job going to another. Or if you don't have a job, you could just be getting one with this Ten of Spades. It's a card called the Ship represents like a boat so it just says again you're going from like one thing to another um and nine of diamonds again new job new business new promotion profits raises really good card for money uh, this could also talk about a move both of these cards so some of you could be moving or traveling at this time and you end with the jack of diamonds again surgery on this card and look at this fortune after difficulty i would say if you need a surgery if you need to go to the doctor go obviously because again i feel like it'll solve an issue if you're having one i also feel like this could be talking about love of course could be an earth sign coming in for you. I really see all signs here, so it could be any sign coming in for you, Aquarius. And I do feel like it'd be a really good person for you, somebody very loyal. This is a card of loyalty, companionship, nurturing, caring, energy, like a really good type of person to be with. And Jack of Diamonds could say that this person is younger than you, or um, you know, it could say that they're a little bit more immature is more what I feel. This person I actually feel like could be older than you, but they, you know, for some of you, obviously they could be younger, but for others, I feel like it could be somebody who's older than you, but they just kind of uh, carry themselves in a more youthful way way and i feel like that's what will attract you to them in the first place is that they will have a very youthful kind of carefree energy not immature in a bad way like i said just you know kind of immature for others of you i feel like this could be talking about money and business but i feel like it's talking about immature money i feel like it's talking saying you know be careful not to harvest too er too early so i feel like if you have a business you know make sure you're not taking money out of the business too soon if you have a job you know make sure to hold on to some money so that you have it for the future but uh, this looks really good. I'm actually, I want to see something else for you. Yeah, definitely recovery coming in for you. I feel like you're going through recovery health-wise. I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, four spades, card of recovery. Six of spades, card of fate and incremental improvements. So I feel like overall, a lot of improvements for you. Now you have two sixes. says you're going in the right direction. But uh, looks really, really good, Aquarius. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.